Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our second part of the uh, search series, South Asia Architecture Series. Uh, this is part of our effort to bring together new, young, dynamic, emerging architects around this region of South Asia to share with you what is their ideology and how architecture can move into a new direction. So uh, we are very honored today to have uh, Mr. Nya, Mr. Vo Chong Nya here with us. Um, Mr. Nya studied uh, in Japan uh, with, in architecture, of course. And after he came back from Japan uh, in Vietnam in 2006, yeah. he started his own practice. And since then, he has been working you know, on his practice and he has shown the world how local material and also local culture can be transformed into a new ways of uh, doing architecture. So I'm sure you have seen a lot of his work and recently he also has won many awards, international awards, including World Architecture Festival Awards, Acacia Awards, AR Awards, and many, many others. So I would like you to invite you to join me to welcome Mr. Nya to share with us his uh, works. <laughs> Mr. Nya. Thank you very much. Thank you to uh, invite me to be here to share with you my uh, work and my company work. And um, yes, I'm uh, not very good at English, so I show you the picture of my project and share one by one, and I hope you can understand what. Yes. Uh, this is. Uh, the house for tree in Vietnam. This uh, we just finished this uh, like uh, six months ago. And uh, let me show this first. It uh, like this is a bamboo form work concrete, and uh, we try to plant a big, really big tree on a house. And the texture is like this. I will show you later why we do the bamboo foam work because our company is has a lot of uh, like a bamboo uh, project before, and then that's why we are uh, in advantage to show this uh, to do this. And uh, the house with five boxes and the courtyard around a courtyard in the middle and around like this. And we use here the bamboo foam work concrete and the, the brick like, like this with open space. And um, this house is not the, the house for tree is not a name of the single house, but we do many house for tree. Uh, uh, I give the, I make the decision that we don't make any house uh, just make the house hot tree. That's why we, we explain to you. Here, now we do like this, the, the house hot tree. And here is with bamboo foam work, with brick, and with the uh, ramet uh, uh, soil wall. And here is the typical Ho Chi Minh landscape. I think that is the most unique in, 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 in the world. Because uh, we almost like the new development, we don't have a lot of tree, so that's why. And like Singapore is here, Hong Kong, Beijing, Kuala Lumpur, and Ho Chi Minh City. This one. And then we are really pollution and flood. You can hear the floods in in the other place because of rain, but. In Ho Chi Minh City, the, both the sea level rise and the rain at the same time, it causes floods in the city and overheats and many problems. And there are the most, I think, next two, three or two, five years, the most important problem is the there are a lot of dep depression people. I mean, the, the nervous people because we lose the connecting with the nature because we don't have, and our policy is uh, bring green space into the city like this, 
and we we do many case of study like uh, like um, like uh, uh, make the renovation, do the new hall, or uh, we do the uh, small uh, house. This belong to us. This one, and uh, and we we uh, we are to convince the government to make the regulation that any house with new build or uh, renovation they need to uh, to have the green roof or green facade. Otherwise. We don't uh, we don't uh, permit to them to 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 make the house, and uh, may, this is uh, we call this is stucking green house with really narrow with just four meter and twenty meter house tuber house typical one with the green facades like this and the green roof, and this is the stone house and this is the uh, green renovation the houses in Hanoi. Like this, we cover this by old green to make the new landscape for. And this is the first project we uh, plan the big tree on the house, like a tree pot. And in fact, this client have some like depression. They uh, he doesn't want to 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 communication with anywhere. You know, that's why we make the. For example, here is the bedroom, and if he wants to go to the toilet, he needs to go out or go to the, the, the dining room or something like that. And we need, he needs to have the connection with the nature. And the, the con concept is really simple. We take the land for the building. Then we, how we give it back to the, the earth, that is our policy, is uh, like, like this. And we have the concrete uh, uh, tree pot. It's really easy, like uh, concept for for this house for tree. And here is Singapore, and here is Ho Chi Minh. The almost similar climate here, the same. And here is, I think, much more raining like like Singapore because of the a lot of storm from here to to this area. And we have when we have storm here, we have big rain in the Ho Chi Minh city area. Then the house is uh, like this side. This side almost no growing. You can see here the uh, tanbina, and around by like this steel roof house around. And this to to look up this house from Google Earth a couple minutes because you can see the like a park, small park in the center of dust. <laughs> and here is old house, and they, he has the very narrow access to here to see this. And we have uh, courtyards, meter courtyards, and small courtyards around this house. And this is the first floor, this dining room, and this uh, library can, and, and one bedroom here, the meditation room and kitchen. And the second floor with the bedroom, we have the bedroom here and here. If he want to go to the toilet, he, he just very small, but he, he need to go out, touch rain of sunlight and with the nature around like this. And this is storage. And this is a, a small bedroom on the top of this. You can see all whole of this. And the, yes, the many courtyards with different character. This is or just a small, small, like this, or a, and here is uh, the dining room. Dining room is from here, and here is the library, like this. And this is a bedroom with a green frame window and small, like this, for ventilation any direction. This is the Panam. Panomana, uh, uh, panorama room and can see like this around. This uh, the bridge. It's easy to make like glass box for for him to go directly to connect this. But we still don't don't make that because we need to make the we need him to make an action to the uh, yes. And this rooftop uh, tree. Yes, 
then n five boxes with different heights, and we have this. We have the first with uh, 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 like waterproofing, and we make the composite box, and we put the. I explain it later, but many layout of dust, and because a lot of flooding, so it is can keep the water when it's raining a little bit, like before we threw it out, like it if it is concrete, and really simple to make the. If anyone see this slide, easy to make the bamboo from go concrete. And yes, that's the layer, the concrete. And this is for for waterproofing here. And here is the the, the composite. And here is with this. Is the this common in, in in Singapore? And we have one more layout. If water come in, we make the the, the steel like inside the the house and the soil. And it's really is uh, two hundred. US dollar for one big tree like this, and it's the most cheap, I think, material in Vietnam because it just cost 2,000 with 10 big tree on top of this house. And this is uh, very popular in Vietnam. Yes, and like we have small window around, and it looks like a box without any any window but we have something like this to for good ventilation and the cost of this is around uh, 100 uh, 56,000 US dollar and the house is like this like this And uh, this is uh, a little bit older house in Ho Chi Minh City. We call it is a stucking green. Maybe you, you may know this one. With four meter, four meter wide and 20 meter is typical house in, in, in Ho Chi Minh City in Hanoi. And inside is like this. This is the back room. This is uh, the master bedroom with the bath. Like, this is the, the, the ground floor bedroom. The first facade at night. And we are, right now I'm explaining that, the, and we plan here is uh, just small, small uh, or tree, but it, at how far tree we really make the big one. And we define the double skin for the tropical climate is like not glass and air and glass is a normal way. But now we do like green and air and glass because we don't have a winter. So we don't need like double skin like two glass like, like, like that. So we, we are doing like, like this too, the, the, the green like this and the glass and more stick the window or something like this here. And the stone house, uh, it, is, it took a long time to make this one. But um, when I come back from Japan, I think many houses around is look like, like that is, so we, I want to explain to the people that we can do something different. So that's why I make this. In fact, I, I even don't, this is not like, like the, the way I do the architecture, but, but I need to explain them that is, anything can happen even in Vietnam. And then this is with the green roof around and the courtyard in the middle is made by stone. It's close to, to the side. It's, it took 
around more than one and a half of a year to make this house. It's really long. And like this. We, this is the first project I planned the, the green on the top of. It's like this, it have the like tropical garden with the water and this kind of the tree. And this one is recently we, we finished in, in, uh, in um, Ho Chi Minh City. It's also we, we try to make that like, uh, yes, with the, like concrete and three the combination with the, the shading and, and uh, ventilation. And then we have the space like, like this. This is the living room and dining room, two family in this house. And we use this really, you can see this in Ho Chi Minh City, everywhere they build it like uh, 1960, uh, like uh, 20th century, they do a lot of the building with this. And we use that traditional way to do this again, to make double skin with the shadow of the, this and tree and air and buffer zone and the, the like, like this one. We also define like this space is like in, in Singapore, uh, almost the same climate, but the people here, they really like air conditioning. <laughs> but for me, it's really cold, in fact. So I always prepare something uh, like when I go to the, the, the World Architect Festival at the uh, Marina Basin, because it's cold <laughs> for me. So I, uh, in, in fact, I never turn on the, the air conditioning in my home because it looks like this. It's open and, and just the fan is enough for me. And the space is look like this too. Everywhere, like with open space combination with here is one living room and one more living room for the son of, and this is the, uh, the the parent family here, and then we make open space for here is a private for back room or something like that, and the living room is open, like this one, this is the first uh, uh, living room and second living room, and this one in Hanoi, you can see the house is like this. Uh, in Hanoi is a lot of like, like this kind of the house. So it really has for us uh, to make some like small project like this small, but we need to make the like the case to the people how to make it not, I, I don't say about the green architecture, but I am talking about uh, like the, the green itself, the tree, the tree. But if you can cover like this, the, the space is totally changing, changing. Like this is the living room up there. It's really dark and humidity like, like, like this. And we change this to like this. <laughs> and the tree go around like, and you can see anywhere in the house with this. this. It's really low cost and simple way. We are doing like this is the living room. And the, the mass, the bedroom where we can see the, this tree around like this. This is uh, the study and this is uh, rooftop. And I hope they can make something <laughs> with the same solution with the, uh, the house around like this. <laughs> like this. And this one. This is, we call it, is a farming kindergarten. It's uh, close to the Ho Chi Minh City. And this is uh, for 500 kids. And we design like with one continuous 
green roof. And we have the courtyards like this. And let me explain you again about the, 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 the background of this project. This is the, one of the biggest industry city in Vietnam, we call it Dong Nai. And here, 20,000 workers work for the Po Cheng Group, it's made for uh, the shoe, Adidas and Nike. This is a huge factory. And then they have 85% is women, and they have 3,000 children. But the people in, in the worker, they always send their uh, children to the family at the, 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 some rural area, and the rest is, uh, can learn here. So this is a design for the worker uh, children in, 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 in Dong Nai, in this factory. And the factory here, and this here is the, 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 the farming kindergarten. And we explain you about this again. And the most big problem is we have huge amount of inactive children now because of with iPad, with and we have we don't have a lot of green space and good the the safe playground for the children in 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 Ho Chi Minh City. That's why the problem is. And then the next generation is much more like nervous and really like like like. Here is the we have like four million two hundred thousand motorbike in 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 Ho Chi Minh City, and recently, when I was in Japan, I don't know how it's flat work in 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 Mekong Delta, but anyone go there, the people living really close to the water, everywhere with the water, then just sometime the sea level rise, and then they have flood, flood all the time with flood, like in Bangladesh or in Mekong Delta, like, like, like this. And that's why we, we uh, the most important, we, 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 we provide a safe playground and safe food and teaching the how important of of the agriculture, because in the Mekong Delta, the big area can make the, the rice for, for the war. But people now going to the, like, they work for this factory with really narrow space with 20,000 worker there, and they have 3,000 of the children like this. And we, 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 we try to make all of the roof with the, with the vegetable, and the worker can make their children food here for the lunch because the worker they have low salary too and this is the land and then this really fit with this land shelf and also really easy to access to the, the rooftop to maximize the space for the children and we now we start with we hand we give them the grass roof first and then now we changing first with uh, uh, 200 square meter with some kind of uh, vegetable first and now family uh, uh, the family mean the worker is working there is joining with that to make this And because we, they don't have any safe playground in the city, so we make the courtyards like this to cover for them the, 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 the safe uh, playground like this. And it connect together and maximize to the roof. It's like this and continue to the roof and go to the other courtyards like this. And the courtyards is connecting together like by this way. And the continuous, the corridor is go around like this for the children when it's raining or something like that. 
and the plan is really easy. It's a two to three years old and three to four years old and four to five years old different with different courtyards like this. And this is a four to five years old can go a little bit to the second floor and music room and office and at the ground floor with the gymnasium, kitchen and something like that art room. And we connect to the outside by, by, by this, like this, to maximize the, the wind into the courtyard. And we connect to like this, go off to the roof and go to many connections. And the vegetable, like this. And we don't have enough budgets, uh, uh, so we don't use air conditioning for for the the, the school. We just use for the uh, teacher space or offices. But it's okay. I think that that the the children they don't have their uh, air conditioning air conditioning at home too. And we try to. This is really easy to vent ventilate everywhere in the courtyard. But the important, we need to be sure everywhere in the, the classroom is important. And the window is look like this. It's very simple two-way ventilation. Like this. And we recycle the water from the factory to use this for tree and for the toilet. And this costs one million nine hundred US dollar for for this building. Like this. And nine some night view. And one more problem is uh, like recently the economic crisis, and then a lot of factory, they, they don't know how to use that because of the, uh, the economic crisis. So we, we do one up like this project. This is a old factory. Then we change this to the, the, the factory uh, offices for the, uh, like this, this is the first. And then we, we change this to, to this. In fact, it's really easy to, we just install the, 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 the bamboo roofing and it look like this. And the worker, we connect it to, to the office, to communication together, like this. And we use the brick and glass and like green, green facade. Like this, and the office's passage turned to the like green like this already. And you know, this kind of green facade is really, really low cost way. Even in Singapore, I think so, because a lot of rain and sunlight here, like like this. And this is the. University campus. Um, this uh, this is FPT University. It will be the architecture department and open next year. Uh, now it's finished already and start to you from uh, next month. The same, same concept with the house for tree. And we use this like a tree box set for, the, for a tree here. And then make whole facade like this. This is the gateway to the 
university, so we need to have the big gate here, and the form is like this because of the gate. And like the three port is inside this, up uh, and the under three port and half like 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 this thing. It's very simple system, like like this one. And in Vietnam, we not like in Singapore. Sometimes in summer we don't have enough electricity. Then they can cut anytime they want. Even when you are like, uh, so you have to run like. Uh, the, the electricity power and at that time of, of course 100% we cannot run the air conditioning then we use the nature ventilation like this and that's, that's here the box is from here to up and in fact this is a new campus but they don't have the like we design the central uh, air, condition, air conditioning but they just use a small one here for every space like like that to reduce the cost at the beginning and they don't willing to to give the student the, the, the air conditioning space and the system is like this three port here and the air is a little bit mistake is uh, the air, air conditioning i mean the hole for air go in and out of the, the air conditioner and the top group we make the the the, the garden on, on 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 top of this like this because the dome is three there, and they need like the, the the vertical park for 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 this. This is uh, I think three or four months ago, and now it's all already open. All. And we also designed this. This is the first version we call is S House for the the people in Mekong Delta. I just make the research to do this for not we don't have any client. We just do at this first. But it no, it's too hot with this and this for 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 the climate like Ho Chi Minh City. It fell and because we test at the beginning. We now when when we are doing the farming kindergarten construction site we just make this for the office of the construction site but we try to 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 combine to test the first version for the i mean the really really low income people and then like this but it's crazy hot and the rain is easy to go in like this it's not right or it's beautiful but but crazy like this it looks Nice in terms of but hot, very hot. And we can leave a lot of people in small house with the back like like this and like this. And then, yes, like this. But hot. Then <laughs> then <laughs> in fact we cannot book here. <laughs> Even that is the office for the <laughs> the, the construction site. This is just for the picture. <laughs> and no, 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 but never give up, never give up. We continue with that. <laughs> we continue with that. And the next, uh, the version, we make this by, by uh, concrete frame like this. And uh, there are a lot of this kind of tasks around and then they can make by, by themselves this, this one. We fell with this again because this is too heavy. Our goal is the people can make by themselves, but this one is uh, 150 kilo. We cannot take it up, and is the most important. We don't have infrastructure in Mekong Delta. Then we make we have to take that by boat, and then it's too heavy. Normally, three or four person can take this, but take it to the small boat by composite boss is impossible. We cannot do that. So, this house is really comfortable, but we cannot like uh, supply this for the normal person because 
they cannot assemble by themselves. It's too heavy. But it, like this, and every element by concrete. And the most big our goal is to make the house can be can be uh, can be uh, like uh, durable, like more than thirty years at least. Because the Mekong Delta people they live in a house, but like three or five years, and then they 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 uh, they have to reduce the house. So that's why I, I am talking to Mr. Kian today about uh, some architect in Vietnam now. They try to make some interesting thing. But that is really crazy because five years later is problem. How we can maintain that? Like community center or something like that. That's crazy. I saw that situation in Mekong Delta that people have to make their house for whole life. Just make a house and living some year and have to make to the new house, and how community can do that? But like, 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 the, like they the public the house like so that what uh, the public some project that like community recycle. But that is crazy problem in the near future when we make a lot of like that. If if your office have fifty staff or sixty staff, you create some like that, and how you maintain? You can do like 30, 50 at a year. Then five years later, you have 250. So how you maintain that, that kind of project? Then they, they are public around the world, that kind of project recently. But crazy. Make it crazy. So we, we talk to, to, to Kin. So our purpose is to keep the houses at least like 30 years for them without. Of course, they can change it easily, something like this. But the main thing, it should be kept like this, like this, like this. And maybe you are waiting for some bamboo project because, uh, in fact, I, when I came back from Japan, I start with this project first, and then people recognize me like a bamboo architect <laughs> we, I just can do the bamboo, <laughs> but that is no, 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 not like that. <laughs> this, uh, but this is really good. This kind of tree is, it take like six years. Oh my God, it's crazy big, like like this. The the same kind of the tree on uh, the house for tree, and it's the it's really easy because the root can go out like this. You can see the pot like this, and the root can go out the, the the house and put on the garden, and even you cut here, they're still alive. That's important. This is really interesting for a tropical tree like this. And you can see here, a lot of root can go down like, like this. And now we have the guy uh, wire to keep the the tree on the top, but three years later, the, the root can automatically keep themselves. That's and this. And this kind, like you can see here, crazy. It's, it's get big like this. Like this. And we, we that's why we do all by, by concrete and the one brick layout with good foundation to keep the tree in three years. Maybe it can be big like this. And then a lot of root go down. We have to cut the root. Otherwise, go on, go on this. You see here, crazy. And this is with the steel column to support, but the main material is the bamboo, but in fact with the steel structure, like this. And this is like decoration. Because, and the next one, I would like to, to do this with pure bamboo structure, not without any steel, even the uh, the join very some really small place we use the the the, the steel and it look like this and the space inside like this I learned this uh, from Japan because I was doing the the timber tower in Kanazawa and the most important thing is how to control the construction site 
And the second thing is uh, how to unit it to manufacture at the factory to control the quality. And the truck is limited, like, 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 like uh, limited capacity, like container. So we, we do this by the unit, one by one like this. And we have 48 units like this and just make it circle and we have really huge space inside like this with only bamboo. And we, we just do one like this. And then we just copy that with like, like we have the, 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 <laughs> like the frame. And then we, we copy the frame easily, <laughs> like like this, like this, and just make a circle, and then we have that kind of space. And we we try with the next one. In fact, uh, I studied the uh, the engineering in in University of Tokyo, not architecture, at uh, the undergraduate with architecture. So uh, we we create the the a really unique, the, I mean, the structure, the cantilever with 12 meter of bamboo go over like this in nearby in Hanoi. And we also copy the every, like, like, like the wing like this, we call bamboo wing because it looked like a wing. And the copy go around with open space like, like this and make a shadow, big three shadow, and then the rain cannot go, go in because you can see the, 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 the under the tree, like this, and the structure like this. Co combination here, the kitchen and the office, and uh, some bar inside this, and open space with, like this. We will have the water space like this. Around. And here, in this area, is really far away from Hanoi. Is uh, around seven, seven hours from Hanoi to this area. So the client, they go around and see my project. And he said that, hey, Nia, can you make something like, 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 like uh, your design? But you should know that we cannot make, take the material from Hanoi a lot because it's costly. And then, and then, they have this kind of like huge amount of this kind of bamboo in northern of, in Hua Bin, in Sun La, around that is one dollar one piece. <laughs> one dollar one piece of this. Eight meter is really low, low cost, really, really low cost. Unbelievable. And this kind of stone, uh, I think Mr. Kin know that, but they take the stone for the roofing and really expensive black stone and they can make it very thin. And this kind of stone, they threw it out, useless. So you can buy it with, with $14 one cubic meter at the side. And of course, this, this this one we can we have to take from Hanoi, but but this one. So we this one they uh, this client they give me really free, really uh, freely to make freedom to make this anything I want. But he said that he just has a very modest cost and whatever I want, he can he can. <laughs> So and we we do the bamboo structure like this, and support the and, and connect to the, the 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 stone box like this to keep it not moving. And then you can see here the wire from here to here. Maybe the other picture to to, to put it out here here from the wind. Like it can take not take this down and this like uh, here. You can see the wire in the middle of four, four, four bamboo like this. And the problem is, if you take the worker from the other place here, that's cost too. So you need to make like 
just one or two details, then educate the people there to work with them. You, you just take like five or some of them. And I just design one detail here and one here. That's it. No, almost no detail of the, the, the building. That is important to, to reduce the cost. And they can, we can make one mock-up like this and let them follow to do with that like this. And this, this is the, 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 the typical detail for, for all, for everyone. Like this. And this detail also the same with the, the, the foot, with, with this guy, to join to the concrete and stone like this. And the, this is this one. All, all this, we make around a lot of mock up. They can do they can do here very well, but they cannot do here. I mean the corner. The corner is <laughs> the most difficult. And they do redo redo and at the end they they, they know how to do this very well. Huh? The boxes at the end of this is really important and difficult. This one. And this is uh, uh, Vietnam Pavilion in, in, in Milano Expo next year. We combine combination of the, the tree and uh, the bamboo. I always facing with big problem when we work for Expo because five years ago, I also did the uh, Vietnamese pavilion in Shanghai, but they give me the, the factory warehouse to renovation, not the new one. And then next, this time they give me the, the site. I won the competition, but they said they just have, they just have 1.3 million. US dollar for make this. Oh my God. So how can you do this with one, one, 1.3 million? So I have to go around with find down the sponsor. At the end, I convinced the Milan, Milan construction. They, des, uh, they do the, 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 the construction side control and the, the contract is just 2.2 million. And then a lot of a lot of sponsor for for this, and we can really like this, and we start construction already now. And this crazy with 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 one point three million to make this one. So the concept is, yeah, plan three on the bamboo, <laughs> like this, look like a forest. It's really like impressive for. And inside, the problem is one more thing is really crazy that they still don't know what they will do the exhibition there. So how to 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 work with them because I don't we we still work with them about the exhibition inside. But I hope it not be like a Shanghai uh, War Expo because they yes yes something like this i don't know <laughs> and i think the building itself is exhibition <laughs> because uh, the uh, the theme of the expo is the energy and the food food yes so thank you very much <laughs> I think it must be a very refreshing for you to see a lot more new uh, projects that's coming out from uh, Mr. Nia. So, um, Q and A. Yeah. So, um,
With that, can I invite Mr. Nyang maybe take a seat? We can have some question and answer. <laughs> okay, fine. So we stay about 20 minutes. Um, Dev, you want to join us? <laughs> or oh, Marty? <laughs> All right, can we have the like, any questions from, from you that I can address to Mr. Nyang? Anybody? All right. Hi there. I I really enjoyed your presentation. I really like all the green plants and everything. But um, I was wondering whether like you have any sort of design considerations against mosquitoes, since you seem to feature a lot of greenery in your designs. Against mosquitoes and like insects in general, because I understand that Vietnam is also tropical, therefore there should mosquito. Be... Yeah, mosquitoes. Yes, uh, in fact, uh, I said uh, I tell you that is Vietnamese people. They really like open space, and for any any uh, house or something like that, it is really easy to control the space by by the the mosquito net, right? So, for example, in your stone house, um, where you had this sort of inside courtyard. Yes, with, with the water, of, right? With, and, with, with lots of green plants. In and there. they have the fish inside that. Oh, right. Okay, so there are fish <laughs> yeah. inside. Okay. Yes. So, so many. <laughs> okay, we have still a lot of time. Thank you for your presentation. I like the fact that you choose bamboo as a material. Like, yeah, I am actually also very interested in using this using bamboo as a construction material. So my first question is, um, do you um like before you use the bamboos, do you like undergo certain like special process to treat the bamboo? Treatment, so that, right? Yes, treatment. Or you just use raw bamboos, like no, no. Uh, the, uh, I I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> The, um, the easy way is putting in water like uh, uh, from uh, three to four months and then take it out and smoke that. And we use the, the rice, uh, rice, uh, yes, 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 uh, to uh, smoke that in two weeks and it come to black and then use that with long life. Think so. so what's the purpose of this kind of treatment to prevent treatment from is just put in the water and smoke that of course we are we have many ways to treatment by uh, by chemical but chemical is uh, reduced and um, the bamboo cannot be eaten by uh, by, 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 by insect but uh, to have the long life of bamboo I think traditional way is better okay yes. And then I realized that in certain kind of structures, you not only use bamboo as a part of the decoration, but you kind of use it as a to support the weight of the material. Is it like to you mean the structure? Yes, like you actually use it as a main structure. Is the previous the yes this one here, yeah, right? Do you actually use bamboo to support the to support the ceiling and yes, yes. Oh, so it's actually. So bamboo as a material is actually strong enough and endurable enough. Yes, it's the main 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 supporting for the for the for the roofing, and just oh, 2.8 meter with four like this is enough for. And and compared to um traditional wooden structures, do you think bamboo structure is more durable or it incurs more problem like compare? Pardon? Compared to wooden structure, wood. Ah. Uh, like which um, one do you think it's? I think some of uh, them in Japan really good. Like uh, they have the house and they have keep the smoke inside that, like uh, make the food, and then the the bamboo can be a durable, really good one. Depend on what kind of wood. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Hey, great work and uh, nice presentation. I was just wondering, um, 
when you use all this uh, greenery, what is the maintenance and what is your opinion on that? And when, especially when it comes to vertical greenery, then maintenance okay, gets plenty. a little tough. Yeah. Well, when it comes to vertical greenery, how do okay. you maintain that when you have trees? Oh, can you see that in the highway of Singapore? Yeah. I think it's really easy to maintain that because in our climate, even in Vietnam, we have more and more like um, like uh, the, the rain. In in every day with raining and sunlight, and I think you don't have to do anything. You know, just let them like grow of like uh, like the tree on your highway around the singapore same same system but during the dry seasons it pardon during the dry season oh that's very simple you have you just have the water system <laughs> inside <laughs> in fact this how you can see this how it uh, the house for tree it uh, around <laughs> this one is around six months already. They have the system inside, but almost one hundred percent unnecessary for 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 sorry for moving so fast. For example, this kind of gr grass. It's like in a park. You just have to sometimes cut this one. And in fact, this guy, we never, we never have to take care of this guy. It go automatically with rain and, and sunlight. Thank you. <laughs> like in winter, water cafe is get big like this. In five. Hi, uh, I have another question regarding the greenery. So, um, these projects are relatively like the building are lower, but in the FPT University project, the trees are actually on very high level. Because uh, in Singapore, we know a few cases of like, let's say the Jardin condo, that the greenery actually like getting like the they're not enough sunlight and water for that type of height. And some more, the, the air up there is very thin. The air is thin now, and then the tree might not have enough uh, nutrition and so and so forth. So what kind of maintenance do you suggest for trees that in, introduced into the building but at the higher level like that? Can you explain to me? I think she's trying to say that trees at higher level maybe need more maintenance. Uh, are you trying to say that trees at higher level need more maintenance? Yes. Your whole story, I don't know what is the difference, but maybe you're talking about 40 stories, 50 stories. As in, in just now, the FPT University that project, the, uh, trees, the greenery are actually very high up, right? The tree at the, uh, it has uh, seven and eight floor. You mean at the high level? The same system. But the most, uh, I think, the problem is the wind. How to control to keep that when the wind coming? That is more important. The rain and the sunlight is the same. That water is problem the same. We but we design that is a, at a independent pot on on every every place of the tree. Is it good with you? <laughs> <laughs> Bamboo question, um, <laughs> never bamboo. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, bamboo question. <laughs> yes. Um, I noticed that when in the restaurant, you've got a bamboo structure, but the kitchen is built in a concrete structure. Um, is that because the authorities in the city don't trust bamboo in places of fire? So, uh, for kitchen, uh, uh. you don't use bamboo, you use brick. Yes. 
Ah, no, that is independent place, like we need to grow that, and then we make the green roof to make the landscape. That's why we make the concrete uh, and stone. For the kitchen? Yes, yes. But is, the, is there any, um, has there been any problems about using bamboo in certain places for structure? Because I know in Europe it's very difficult to have a bamboo structure. Ah, uh, but I always keep to make the kitchen around the kitchen place by, by the other material, like... Uh, like a stone or brick or soy, ramit, soy wool or like that. Just make the roof with the bamboo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And last question. Um, do you, is, is there a problem in Vietnam with people seeing bamboo as a poor man's material and people don't want to live in a, a bamboo house? They, would still, they might want to have a bamboo pavilion in the garden, but they don't want to live in a... Ah, depend on the way you are doing of course, they think that bamboo is a cheap material and it and is really difficult to make it look luxury or look cheap. It's really, really, really sensitive. Be careful with that. But um, our project is always like in the luxury resort or like that. And then people think that it's a luxury space. <laughs> Then sure, sure. In uh, you can uh, go and see. <laughs> it's, a, it's a clever strategy. <laughs> so is, it, is it because uh, aesthetic comes into play? Because of the aesthetics, can they raise somehow the value of that? Uh, I think the the way you use the bamboo. And sometimes I saw many, recently they do a lot of bamboo project in the world, but half of that is look less uh, luxury and half of that is really look cheap. So, so be careful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you for the fantastic uh, lecture. I think the images don't do justice for the process involved behind it because I know the process is much more difficult. And my question is along the lines with what uh, John just asked. The, do, do, I mean, the clients, the kind of clients that you get, so they come to you because they like the kind of architecture that you do because I'm sure it's, it stands out in the normal commercial architecture that's probably uh, in Vietnam right now. So it's mostly like, how do you convince your clients? So do your clients actually come because they have seen it and you have established yourself this, I wouldn't say the style, but this kind of architecture and how does that work? Yeah, I start my uh, firm uh, eight year already. But um, at the first five or six year, almost nothing to do. <laughs> People cannot believe that we can do that in Vietnam. <laughs> that is reality. <laughs> so that's why recently we, we do like 20 or more a year, but just two years recently. <laughs> and then before, um, and the most important thing that is uh, the first project in Vietnam is uh, I won the competition of Ho Chi Minh Architecture University. That is crazy. <laughs> when I was uh, just 29, and then they try to keep like they have 10 person tell different thing. That is, for example, why you make the circle, and then they, the the other the one is said that is circle is beautiful, and then why you make the green roof, and they, the other one uh, said that you need to make the like this roof. And, and then no staff from Ho Chi Minh University architect is join my, 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 my company. <laughs> because they keep to try, I cannot do the architect around the Vietnamese society. <laughs> so that was crazy, in fact. So I tell to Kin uh, already that some staff, excellent staff in my office just graduated high school. No, no, no. And some of bamboo, they are just graduates uh, elementary school. No, nothing. So we can, we need to do that with, 
with 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 that and then now they they really good relationship with company because they they don't have like 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 university uh, like degree yes and then first five year nothing and then i do the stacking greenhouse for my friend with for free <laughs> for free and start to win a lot of a lot, a lot of uh, award in the world by by this one but do we do this for for free but at that time i just have some some stuff with that and um, and, and 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 like recently even even we we still do for free some some project but and then like the apt university right we signed the contract with 2.2 billion that mean that mean 100,000 US dollar for design a huge building like that but it will finish next month <laughs> and then it's okay now <laughs> crazy even the low cost housing is free ah yes yes okay. but that is the uh, we combination ah and because no one make the all mode 100% we design no one can no contractor help you to make that so i have automatically really big construction company because i need to realize this that is problem big problem too that is for example for example this guy this guy too and like this and even this it is it's still easy but like this one construction company they do just something and they quit this and the client at uh, hey you you design this so you need to handle this project and then we have to handle this project <laughs> and then that's why many things yes to be like to do something in vietnam is crazy <laughs> Do you um, do you see a lot of young architects in Vietnam following your path? Because now you have established yourself. I think you are one of the most internationally known Vietnamese architect. So do you see a lot of young architects? Yes. Want yes, yes, yes. Okay. And my uh, I educate a lot of staff every year to put them out because I feel that is if I do the the architecture only that is limited but we are we have the plan to educate like 50 architect for vietnamese society and they do they are now doing very well around and something i feel good hey let go don't don't stay at office anymore go and then make your own office and we in now we have a lot of work so we can introduce work for them and they really successful now yeah because i think the much more important than than making the architecture like this is to educate the 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 the, the, the staff to be architect is much more important and yeah we, we 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 are i think we are good at that because we add some stuff for the make the model at the beginning to make drawing to make the detail to control the construction side and even now we let them to negotiate the contract and convince the client because we and then we have all when they have all of skill let's go yes very interesting thank you so much thank you thank you for the Oh, thank you for the presentation. And uh, um, I'm just curious, um, how does living in Japan for several years that you study there change your view on architecture? And then, uh, in particular, is there any design you really like that you that you that you that you get from uh, Japan? Right? Yeah. In fact, now we have. A lot of Japanese stuff, like twelve or something like that, <laughs> and um, yes, it's influenced me a lot in terms of the finishing, 
in terms of uh, long life building, even the low cost uh, one. But it has to be, because I saw many projects of, uh, of some like uh, like uh, Le Corbusier or, or, or Louis Kang or Tada Ando or even Maki. It influenced me in terms of, oh, it's really good in terms of maintenance. It's really, really long life. Even they are not here now. And then um, my professor, the most influenced me, the, the Mr. Hiroshi Naito. Yeah, he, he was really strict with me. And all of my life in, in Japan is influenced a lot of design. Uh, the, the I mean the, the way design and also the way to build it in in here. Yes. Any question more about that? Thank you. Uh, thank you for the um, presentation. I like the idea of how you engage to the architecture with the landscape. And then I found um, you are trying to get the relationship with the green and the human that helps the human's life. That's what is fascinating. And I want to ask you, uh, are you aiming to like introduce some like certain types of like uh, plants or like well, like a forest or any image that you want to bring to the human city. And then another um, question is, because uh, I found you uh, planting the ficus benjamin on the rooftop, which is a kind of powerful trees. So like, for example, like uh, Angkor Wat, those place uh, is a kind of different species, but eventually they could have the power of taking over the architecture. Are you also aiming to that kind of place? Just a curious question. Can you explain me? <laughs> How the complementary like, image of this, the other one is here. So, all right. If I can summarize, the first one is about uh, the uh, complementary nature of landscape and architecture, how do you have the, this kind of design idea, how this landscape and architecture complement each other? And second one, how is the uh, strong tree, like the uh, ficus tree, right? That is, uh, you know, over time, it may even take over architecture. Yes. So, so how do you feel about that? So or you can know the name of uh, the house is a house for tree. <laughs> so uh, in fact, we are now the client, a lot of house uh, ask us to design the house. And we always said that, say that we just do the house for free. Are you agree with that? <laughs> and then if they say yes, we start to design the house. <laughs> Otherwise, no. This beautiful house is, yeah, anyone, maybe, uh, they can do that. But for the city, you can see the c landscape of the city is crazy already. So we need to convince them to make the house, to plan a lot of three. And sometimes we just, really simple, how many big trees you can plan on, on the house? I ask my staff, some small like 50 square meter land and then how, how many? Like 10 or 15 or 20 or something like that. And the concept, the way we do the house is very simple how many trees we can plan on that. That is the most, <laughs> the, the first question. And then the rest is not difficult at all. <laughs> the space like how to make a living room, how to make the bedroom, the bathroom, it's okay, fine. So it's okay to uh, take over by tree, right? Yes. Yeah, because it's for the tree. The, the, the tree, yes, it looks strong. Yeah, the root can go out like this, of course, but it's not very, you can even cut the, 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 the the tree and then it can alive. <laughs> Any question? Right. Any more question? Maybe one last question. Good, Joe. Uh, 
Hello. First of all, I was beautiful lecture, beautiful work. Um, Thank you. I think it's clear that your work is marked by a maniacal dedication to one thing at a time, right? So you have the trees that drive an entire body of projects for you. Every house about the trees or the vegetarian, vegetable, <laughs> vegetation, excuse me, <laughs> as a kind of material, right? Vegetation as material. Yes. You have an entire group of projects that are dedicated maniacally to bamboo as structure that take a particular kind of material and produce projects based solely around the conception of that material as the driver for a project. Yeah. So my question's a kind of softball in a sense, which is that if your agenda here is to educate, and you said that you're sending architects out there into the world making more tree houses, right? Um, the, the question for you is what is next? What are the things materially specific to your region that will drive the next set of agendas for you that we can look forward to your new next maniacal dedication <laughs> about? I think... Bamboo and tree and then what? Then what? Stone and some... <laughs> anything around. <laughs> anything around. I think the, the weather is also good. Uh, material like we use for the tree or something like that and then uh, we are now try to make like uh, the bamboo uh, uh, instead of instead of steel we use bamboo for the ramit uh, wool and uh, that is not new in the world but we we, we we think that is really low cost for Vietnam is because the labor cost in Vietnam is uh, low cost too, but um, yes, to produce 50 architect for Vietnamese society might maybe take my whole life. <laughs> yes, it's okay for your question. Yes, uh, it's about education. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, any other question? All right. Um, well, it really humbled me because. Uh, Behind all these pretty, you know, beautiful landscape and buildings or images, it is a lot of uh, dedication to social aspects, to the ecological aspects about Ho Chi Minh City and also about the individual. So, uh, can we give uh, Mr. Nia another round of applause? Thank you.